Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. The last tutorial I did on this channel was about drum maps and using drum maps. And this one is gonna be similar. It's about using expression maps, but it's more for when you're playing, you know, pitched instruments and a lot of times in an orchestral setting. So without any further ado, let's just get into it and see the wonder of expression maps in Cubase. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we're here in the project and I'm gonna show you what I mean uh, in terms of articulation. So we're gonna just go to this horn patch here, open it up, and I am using Iconica. It's a new sample library from Steinberg. Iconica, I think they designed it in a concert with Orchestral Tools, the company that makes a bunch of famous sample libraries, but it runs actually on Cubase's Halion Sonic software. And it sounds great. I mean, it sounds like a full fat professional orchestral library. So this is just what we'll see here. We have the staccatissimo right here. And then of course the key switches are down here. So we switch to staccato and you could do that on a keyboard as well. And then marcato. Sustain. Legato. And finally, repetitions. So the way that you would control these if you were editing MIDI would be to use key switches. So we'll just come in here and draw in a bar and pop in here. And let's say I wanted to just play just four quarter notes. So my length is a quarter. So we'll just draw it in here at C3. We'll just do a chrom chromatic walk up in C. And we wanted, oh, let's see, there's six notes. So let's extend this section really. That's, that'll be easier. Okay, so there's six notes, six articulations. The articulations start at C0. So the way you would do this is down here at C0, we could just have a different articulation for each note. One, two, three, four, five, one more, six. And we'll hear them when we play back the song. And that's fine and good, you can do it that way, but a lot of times if you're composing with something you know, in an upper register, you won't realize what articulation you have selected. So what expression maps allow you to do is bring your articulation, the current articulation, into full focus. Uh, so we'll just delete these at all times by adding a controller lane down here. And the unique thing about using Iconica is that the expression maps are already supported in Cubase out of the box. So I'm gonna show you the easy way first with Iconica and Haley on Sonic. And then I'm gonna show you if you're using a third party library with a third party VST like Contact, how to do that. So what we'll do here is if expression map is not on your inspector, it may be because it's not checked here. So you hit this little gear box. If it's if you don't see it, you can hit it and click on your expression map. Now with your no expression map, you're gonna click here and Iconica supports importing key switches. So you just do that and it has them already named because it's uh, smart because there's tight integration between the VST and the DAW. So I think that's fine. Now that you have this, we'll go back in to our uh, MIDI and we can add a controller lane by clicking right here. And the controller lane will be articulations and dynamics. And you'll see here, we have the six different articulations so we can program them in. And listen back. but we could change these to be whatever we want. So this could be repetitions. And marcato, sustain. There we go. Uh, so you can change, uh, so you can change articulations like that and have a visual 
uh, feedback about what exact articulation you're doing because it says so written out, you know, horn stuck, gettissimo, marcato, sustained. And so you'll see it here on the left. And that is super nice to always have that visible while you're composing, especially if you're using instruments where the key switches are in a strange area. So you actually have not just random notes, oh, this is C sharp, oh, but that's staccato, not staccatissimo, I want a staccatissimo. No, you actually have exactly what each articulation is and when it triggers. And it's nice because with a instrument that is a Steinberg instrument, you can just import the key switches and your expression maps are alive. And the current, uh, the current key switch that you're on will be indicated with green arrows. So that's nice also. So that works great for Iconica because it's a Steinberg library, so there's tight integration. But what if you're using Contact or some sample libraries in Contact and or any other third-party VST and you need to make an expression map? Well, it goes pretty quick and it will save you some time in the long run if you create them. So let's just uh, fire up a Contact instance. Uh, and we'll get into it and we'll use, I don't know, Woodwind Ensemble, Oboes Essential, that sounds fine. Okay. So we have four articulations, staccato, crescendo, decrescendo, and sustain. I think you can add more. Yeah, there's more, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. So what we're going to do is create a expression map for those four. So what we'll do here is come into no expression map, expression map, and we'll just, we'll create a new one. So we'll call this uh, oboes new. I was screwing around with it before to make sure that I didn't say anything wrong. Okay, oboe's new. So we know that uh, we need C0, C sharp 0, D0, D sharp 0, as you can see here. So we'll get in here and we'll call them that. We'll add four. C0. I just like to do this so I know what note to map it to. C sharp 0, D0, D sharp 0. And we'll map each of these to their respective notes. So note on C0. This will be note on C sharp 0. This will be note on D0. And this will be note on D sharp 0. Cool. Now we got to name these. I'll name it sus, staccato, Crescendo and decrescendo. And now we need to assign articulations to them. I know it seems like you're doing a lot of rework, but that's just what happens when you have to. So you come into articulation, double click, and I always just add customs. You can try to find it, but this is a little buggy. Um, as you can see, mine, it's not the easiest. Uh, thing to use. There's just some user interface artifacts that aren't the greatest. So I'll just click here and use a custom. And I'll use text and sus. You know, click here, use custom, use text, staccato. Click here, use custom, text, and we'll call it crescendo. And then we'll click here, use custom, text, and decrescendo. Now there's two types, there's attribute and there's direction. And I always use direction because I think attribute is sort of like bop, sort of as if it was like a one millisecond, it hit that key switch. Now direction is sort of like it plays that key switch until the next one is hit, which some sample libraries actually use. So I just use direction just in case the sample libraries use it. Uh, and it's always worked for me. So with that simple thing set up, we have a new expression map for this oboes patch, and we'll just load it, oboes new, and I'll draw in a little, we'll do, yeah, we'll do a half note for each one. So uh, make these twice as long. Okay, so we've drawn in our four notes and then we need to add the articulations. So we'll just hit Alt here and put in every half note. We'll switch articulations. And that should, oh. and that should do it. Let's take a listen.
And it's just as easy as that. You know, you set up your uh, expression maps, and if you have them for everything, especially if everything is key switched, uh, it makes it super easy because you can actually have this little tab open and you can see which articulation you're on. So, uh, you know, expression maps can be a huge time saver in the orchestral composition or any composition with key switches. Uh, and it's just a great feature that comes in Cubase. And if you use a Steinberg library like the new Iconica orchestral library, it is super well integrated. So I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have and you want to help the channel, just hit that subscribe button or that thumbs up button. And guess what? I'll see you guys next time. Peace.